We hear a lot of claims that 3D design and printing helps to improve students' spatial awareness. Here's what happened when one teacher decided to find out for himself. The teacher worked with three different classes, a Year 5, a Year 6 and a Year 7 class. But we'll look at a representative group of 14 students made up of eight boys and six girls. Eight of these students are year five with three year six and three year seven students. The teacher began by collecting some baseline data about students' current spatial awareness skills. He selected some tests to do so. The Santa Barbara Solids Test, the Purdue Visual Rotation Test and Gway's Visualization of Viewpoints Test. It's interesting to note that those students who play a lot of sports or who are really good at sports tended to score more highly on these initial tests. The teacher also observed that boys were tending to score more highly than girls on these tests. Over the next two terms or six months, the teacher provided regular time for the students to use Maker's Empire's 3D design software. He set the students' design tasks and also made the software available for students to use whenever they wanted to. After six months, the teacher retested the students using the same tests. You can see here that the green line of the graph represents students' initial results, while the red line is their results after six months. So what we're looking for is that the red line is higher than the green line to show improvement. With the Santa Barbara Solids test, where students had to infer the cross-section of a given 3D object, we can see that the results are quite inconsistent. With the Purdue Visual Rotation test, where students were required to mentally rotate a given object, we can see that most students' results have either improved or stayed the same. With similar results for Gway's visualisation of viewpoint tests. If we focus on the Purdue Visual Rotation Test and look at the results in a different way, we can see that after six months using Maker's Empire's 3D design software, most of the students either improved or stayed the same with their ability to visually rotate 3D objects. If you look at these results more closely, we can see that the results for all of the girls improved. The teacher could see that by giving his students opportunities to work within a 3D design environment, he was helping them to develop their ability to rotate objects mentally and visually. But why is that important? Where do we need to be able to do that in our everyday lives? We can assume that we need spatial awareness to carry out everyday tasks like these. Maneuvering vehicles in traffic, reading maps, playing team sports, dancing. Because without spatial awareness, these situations can go horribly wrong. But is there more to it than that? Do our students need to have spatial awareness skills in order to thrive in the 21st century? How can our students use skills such as mental rotation and visualisation to be creative and innovative, to work with information and research in order to thrive in the 21st century? How can these skills help our students to imagine new possibilities, to visualise things they cannot see and to innovate and create to come up with new solutions to new problems? Spatial awareness and spatial intelligence will help our students succeed and thrive in the 21st century. 3D design and 3D printing is one of the tools that we have available to us to help our students develop these skills.